So the girls had a good week last week. On Thursday night, they went over by Grandma and Grandpa to hang out there while Paige and I grabbed some lumber for the deck. While there, Grandpa put them to work doing some chores and setting up some traps for the raccoons as well. Earlier in the week, Grandpa was letting out the dog in the middle of the night, and he looked out and saw three raccoons sitting on the deck ledge by the bird feeders. So he had the girls set some traps, and they ate a couple marshmallows and put a couple in for the raccoons. After all their work, they relaxed and enjoyed some s'mores around the fire. The next day, Grandpa caught one raccoon in the trap, and then Saturday he t caught two raccoons, and then Saturday afternoon, Lily ended up treeing three more raccoons in their birch tree in the middle of the backyard. So we're keeping on going with the deck here. Thursday night, we grabbed all the materials for the deck, and then we started putting it together on Saturday around oh, I think two o'clock or so after we killed the chickens so we started out the morning by uh, killing chickens and I'll put some videos of that right now or some pictures more so we had some family and family friends over to help butcher 22 chickens we stuck them in these cones and that's where their life ended then we proceeded to dip them in the hot water to loosen the feathers so the plucker could do its magic once the chickens were plucked, we had to pull the remaining feathers and start processing them. We put them in ice water as a holding tank while we continued to process them and then in the end we broke the birds down even further. At the start of the day, Natalie and Chloe were a little apprehensive, but as time went on, they started helping out more and they were big helpers in the end. We processed 22 chickens and had a great time doing it. So then after that, Jade and I moved all the lumber and started working on the deck. Got about this far here. Got all the substructure on. I'm gonna get the rest of this. This will be angled over here with some stairs going down, and then I just gotta put the the rim board on, and then I gotta fill in that one little triangle area there. Um, so we're hoping to get the deck boards um, this week, and then uh, same with like the posts and stuff. We want to get all cedar tone decking, so we don't have to. Um, seal it or stain it or anything we'll just leave it all as natural tone and we'll just screw it on and kind of leave it be the plan is to have the gate right here so that'll go away and then we'll have two steps down and there'll be kind of a privacy fence along this section here um, maybe with some built-in planters and then the rest will just be kind of open area for seating there will be a set of stairs there and we're still debating on the stairs over here. I think we're going to end up putting it off to there. Um, and then so this will just be seating again. Um, so it'll be a nice little decked area. Uh, so we can just hop in a pool or lounge around it. Either way, have a good time. Saturday night, Natalie came out and helped me with the deck. Well, she found it more enjoyable as a jungle gym. Also did a little work around the garden. We tilled it up to keep the weeds down around the, the pumpkins and the squash and the sunflowers and whatnot. And it was a really good growing week. It was kind of hot and humid. So everything was growing up like crazy. The tomatoes are coming in well. We got to cage them up a little better. Uh, and we had, so we had an early frost. And well, not early, we had a late frost and we had some of the plants out here. So I went to cover them up the one night, but I didn't cover them all completely. Um, so we had some that we weren't sure if they were gonna make it or not. So we planted a few extra in the middle with just some leftovers that I had. And now essentially, I think I'm gonna have to transplant those out and put them um, in the kind of open spot over there to get rid of them so they don't congest the area over here. But our onions are coming up good. Some marigolds, some more um, different variety of tomatoes. And we got our, we have turned out that that was a cucumber and two zucchinis, carrots and peas. Uh, we did plan on having um, two cucumber plants here and there, but they did not come up. So we uh, rolled them over today. But we eventually have to get over to this section here 
And this is our blueberries, which we planted. We gotta put, um, I think we're gonna put some pine needles around there for like a mulch. And then here's some raspberries plants, which you can't really see too good because it's the first year, but hopefully they'll grow in a little better. Jade, are you helping me water? Yeah. Hey, water the plants. Want to ski? Oh, good. You water the strawberries? 